it's Ant94 and today what we have is an RX-7 so this is me talking over it the other footage I do will not be me talking over it but let's get straight into the video and we're gonna just you're gonna see the customization you know we might I think we take it outside at the end I'm not too sure but we're gonna do the customization now so we're gonna go through the brakes now we're gonna check the bumpers bumpers so there's a fair few different bumpers here and honestly some of them are cool I don't like the black lip on the bottom but I do like the ones that are painted lips so we're going to put the painted ones on there's only two options for me to choose from because I don't like the the black ones so I decided to go with the second one for the second one up from the bottom so we go for that one which is pretty cool the rear now the rear disappointed me I was hoping for like a drift spec bumper or something but there wasn't a drift spec bumper or nothing like that so we just had we just had some diffusers but I don't like the diffusers that engine the engine bay is pretty cool like you've got the whole like looking like a rotary engine type thing kind of look it's very cool so you've got all different ones where you can have the blue pipes and things like that I decided to go with one near the end and I changed my mind and actually wanted you know the chrome pipe because because of the red so I wanted the blue and the red so that kind of thing I think is what I've done which I went for that one with the black black intercooler because the air intake is kind of cool but I do like the the pipes as well so it's cool but I know one thing I couldn't open the bonnet when I finished doing this but I always go for the same strut brace I like this one the lightweight lightened one with the hot like drilled holes into it it's very cool now you can change the your what's it called your intercooler at the bottom which is very cool this is based off a of Mazda RX-7, which is a very cool car. don't know if I said that at the start. But if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe, because we were trying getting new content out. So this is the first video, and this is like, and if we don't usually do GTA because I'm using the crew channel. But there's a lot of cool, like, exhausts here. There's some that don't suit the car, in my opinion. But I like, I like chrome exhausts, but that's just me. Like, I did like... I did like the single ones, but then I just decided to go with the dual ones because they're a little bit smaller. But so I had the quad ones instead because they're a little bit smaller. And I just think they fit the car better. Now the the arches are cool. Like you've got all these different ones, and you can do them individually as well, which they have done in some other instances. But I'm not sure if they've done it with arches before. So you you have the headlights, but the headlights pop up, so I didn't want any of these. Like. Why would I move pop-ups? So the best thing, GTA. I don't think GTA has ever done pop-ups until now. They probably had some like what like integrated grills and things like that, but never really like full-on pop-ups like we've got now, which is brilliant. It's cool. So we've just got here just choosing the hood pins. I want to go with something a bit different. I like the ones where they angled because I just think that's a cooler look for me. And you've got this see-through hood, which is really strange but cool at the same time. I mean, I've, I've never seen one of these before. Usually when they've got a see-through hood, you don't have the bottom panel. But this one's got like the bottom panel, so you can see underneath it as well. And then, my door's going to stay open there because someone got at the car. But you know, that's just, it is what it is. So we're just going to go through it still. Because I didn't want to, you know, stop and just spoil the recording. So we're going to do that. We're going to get through it all. It's, quite, it's kind of a longish video. But you know, you'll see that before you click on the video anyway. But yeah, we changed the hood to that one because I just like the vents. They kind of do look like the RX-7 vents that I'd probably go with. Then the interior, I'm not a fan of the interiors. They've got like different ones, but I, I don't like the stripped out interior. I want it to be more of like a street look, more than a race look, like a street inspired race type thing. But I didn't want the inside to be like race because I think that's a bit too much. Now with the boost, the, I thought the big ones were too big, so I just went for the little boost gate, which I thought was cool. I didn't want any of the door cards because I prefer the stock ones because they already look like carbon anyway so I felt like keeping them now the seats I just wanted I just wanted red straps on the seats the red seat belt covers like you know just strap yourself in the red ones that's all I wanted it's just the red ones there so I went for the red ones with the carbon on the back which is cool because I know I was a little bit unsure so I went back to it but I prefer the, the ones with the carbon on the back because it just blends in more I think so that's what that's what we ended up going with eventually. But it's cool. 
you have to rank up levels. I think you get a different car every time you rank up every five levels for the for the reputation. So if you was looking at that, well, I've been growing it a little bit, and it seems like you get like a discount every where you get like the trade price every five levels, which is cool. Roll cages. I was the big fan. To be honest, in this car, didn't like them. But we are going to do neon light, xenon lights, or however you pronounce that. You know, liveries, liveries are very cool. Like you've got, you've got a lot of the different liveries. They've put the Sakura one on there. It's, it's all, it's all nice. You're saying, I, I like these ones, like the little subtle ones. Not much to them, but it's cool. Now I'm looking at this. I kind of don't know if it, it, it needs a wing. Maybe I don't know. But it's, it's cool. I mean, I'm impressed with Rockstar in this because you can't tell me you look at this and you don't say RX-7 straight away because it literally looks like an exact replica replica of the RX-7 which is brilliant they've added a few roasty things in this update but overall very good I'm impressed with some of them and these cars should be coming out like once a day type thing as long as we get the trade unlocks and things because I don't want to be wasting a lot of money on it so I'm trying to get like the trade prices if I can and just grind in here and there when I've got time. So we're doing that and also we're keeping up with the crew so if you like the crew and you play the crew this is the channel where you want to be because I do all the bundles and I do everything like that. But yeah, just looking through the liveries. There's a lot where you have to like grind to get to like nearly rank 200 for the level and that's not your level. That's the new reputation system for the LS level which is cool. Louvers, not a big fan of the Louvers on the back. I just think it looks a bit, a little bit worse my opinion now that there were wing mirrors I'm impressed you can put wing mirrors on your front wings which is very nice so you then we just change the plate and there were roof scoops roof scoops are cool I like roof scoops some people might not like them but I honestly think the roof scoops are just wicked especially when they add them so now we're just going to go through a skirt I was just trying to find one like I do like the one with the little lining that one there very nice but there's there's a few other cool ones like this this is very cool I like just the waviness to it and it adds a little piece on the back but I'd, I'm not a big fan of that piece on the back to be honest it would work if you've got a diffuser slap that piece on the back it'll look cool but I don't have a diffuser so I'm just going to go with this this like flowy one without the back it is cool because it just flows a little bit more which is that one there which we actually went for which is a very cool one and the front splitter now there was some that I like but I wanted it to blend in more and I didn't feel like the black worked because there's nothing else that I'm having that's like carbon or plastic or anything so I decided to go with with a white one eventually because I feel like the white one just blends so much more for my for the car that I was going for so the, there's a few of these that are cool there's it, the, the, all the designs on this are kind of cool obviously you can roast it out and it won't look too good but if you take your time you can find a good one and make it look very very clean and that's what I've gone for here it's just a nice clean build so we just see we choose this splitter here because I just think it looks good spoilers there's a lot of different spoilers and I was unsure because I want I want one of these big ones but it just feels like a bit too big for me and a bit too much so I just didn't pick it and I'm not sure if it could if it looks good without one because I don't know, I just felt like it needed that little spoiler just to fit in with the touches that I've already got but I don't know, it's, it still makes me want to click on one of them but it's just the RX-7, the RX-7 has like a lifted back end so it doesn't really suit wings too well unless you have like a good back rear bumper but they didn't do any cool rear bumpers I like the rear bumpers where you've got like an integrated diffuser with it so it just looks like all as one rather than bolted on so it would be like all the moulded in type of diffuser is what I like but they didn't have that in there so we went we went for a food crew but at the end we changed it which you'll notice in the thumbnail because we did go for the power metal in black just because I just felt like the food crew just stood out a bit too much and contrasted against the colour a bit too much for me but you know and they've got tail lights to me these tail lights when the colour just look gross apart from the last ones the iridescent ones kind of cool but the other ones it's just it's a bit much for me to be honest the red ones might work but they kind of look too faded for what they are 
I'd rather them like a more clear and more polished rubber look, but that's not what we got. We get what we're given. That's the only thing I can complain about. But these wheels, wheels are sick. These are the wheels I want. But look at what level I have to get up to. So I can't have them. Because literally, level 95, I've got to wait to get these. I think these suit the Super F2 FT, in my opinion. It just suits mine perfectly. But I can't have them. So I decided to go with, well, I know which wheels look the same. So, I decided, let's go with the street wheels. Like, you know what they added in before? And you've got some rotor forms here, very cool. I do like them. You've got some Porsche looking wheels as well. The, the, the wheels are sick, but I went for wheels that look similar, which is these. They're not as good, obviously, but they'll do for now until I get to that level. And then when I get to that level, I can just switch them over and, and you know, cost a little bit of money, but it, it'll be worth the switch in the end, in my opinion. But we went through all these, very nice keeping it white for now which is cool and then I think we went for the colour at the end I don't always think my videos go for colours at the end it's usually in the middle but well sometimes it's the start when I have to play the crew it's at the start but when I play this it's usually at the end which is a little bit different but we went for we went for a nice colour here if you, you wait you just scroll we just looked for the blues and I'm like now that one that one is just fire. So I click on it obviously because I want that colour. We go to palace and so we pull a nice white in just to give it that little bit of a kick. Is what we done? Straight down to white, nice one. So it gives gives it that little touch. You know, it just makes it like pop a little bit. I think. And I was looking, I was just like, well, what's it changing? But it changed the calipers. So you can secondary colour here is bright calipers, so it's cool. So if you want some red ones, white ones, blue ones, whatever colour you want. You can have them, which is cool. I don't know if that that should it might affect if you've got some secondary parts in the car. So if you don't, you we want something different. But it also does change like the interior stuff as well. So I've got red interior, and I decided to change the interior because I didn't want red seats. I want black seats because otherwise it just looks a bit silly. So I wanted something to be fitting in. You can do red seats because red seats do look good in my opinion. But with the red straps on the red streets, it just looked a bit iffy to me, so I didn't want it. So we went for the black instead. But it was still, we got them done, which is very cool. And then we exited because. So now you can just listen to the sound, and it is a beauty. So if you did enjoy this video, guys, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. I'm out. Peace.